Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jamari Four here and this video is impromptu as all the fucks because I'm sitting up here at, at home, we're working from home today, and I'm sitting up here with my phone scrolling through my timeline as per usual, checking my blog sites and things, and things of this nature, and I see the, the terms breaking news, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Solange, and Brawl all in the same title, and my face just was like, Ooh, 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 bitch, ooh, bitch. So, long story short, from what we've gathered, because you know, these details are probably never going to get out. If they slip through any crack, there's going to be so many lawsuits, and people are just going to be homeless, and, you know, people are going to disappear. But, <laughs> from what I saw, the little video, and you know that video ain't got no goddamn audio. Let me get, I'm going to get to that in a second. The video shows, it's about 40 seconds or so, there's the surveillance camera in the elevator. First Solange walks in, then, J is it? then Jay Z walks in, and then we see what I assume to be Beyonce as that little blur in the corner, because it's in black and white, so you really can't really tell. I think that's what's supposed to be her, but regardless of the fact, when Jay-Z gets on the elevator, there's some type of mini exchange for like five seconds between Solange and uh, Jay-Z. The next thing you know, Solange is going ham cheese on that ass with a motherfucking one-two hit combo, bitch. She did one of them bow-bow, and then by that time, by the time she got the two hits in, she uh, was being, you know, of course, carried by the security guard, and then she got her a quick little kick up in there and <laughs> with, with her heels on, and Jay-Z tried to grab him. And defend his damn self like, bitches, you crazy. Like, and, you know, of course, the Vista video is her being restrained. And then what other people are looking at is how when they're walking out, okay, Solange is walking out pissed. Okay, she obviously has like a disturbed look on his face. Then, I don't know, if, I don't know who was walking out uh, between Jay-Z and Beyonce ahead of who. I want to say Jay-Z was first. Jay-Z looked distraught. Like, he was like, he had that look on his face like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. Like, what the fuck? But the gag is, what people are talking about is how Beyonce walked out unbothered, smiling, like, ain't shit just happened. She was just like... Like... <laughs> You really gonna sit and act like that didn't happen? I mean, it's one thing because you know she's trying to be like, okay, you know what? That's just, that's y'all problem. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna get up, get up in this. And the thing was, while Jay was getting pummeled upon, Jay Z was just sitting up in the corner, like, I mean, Beyonce was just sitting in the corner, like, what y'all think? What y'all think? I'm, I think I'm about to get into hell. No. I'm Okay, that's what I just assumed to be. I said, it was like, she was like, I ain't finna get involved. Okay, I, I have an image to uphold. Fuck what y'all talking about. <laughs> but it's just like, the thing is, what could literally have been the issue? Like, I'm trying to figure out what could have caused Solange to just go off to a manner where she had to punch the nigga. And she looked like she was about to go for blood. Like, if that security guard wasn't there, it would have went down in the motherfucking elevator room. Like... I saw my timeline, people was talking about how uh, she she thinks if she found out that Jay-Z was probably doing some type of harm to Beyonce, I highly, I doubt that, but we really never know. We don't know nothing, okay? Uh, you see how long it took for Kelly Rowland just to uh, put in her little dirty laundry thing, and, and y'all know how airtight Beyonce is about her private life, so we have no idea what could really be going on. And somebody put a, a picture... Uh, apparently, uh, Beyonce had like a four tattoo on her finger that used to be there that isn't or isn't there any longer. I don't know if that symbolized something between her and Jay Z, but somebody. It's, it's just like people are putting all these different theories on my timeline, and I'm like, something has to be wrong. Like I don't believe that Solange would have any issue great enough with Jay Z that didn't involve. Beyonce and something being done to Beyonce. So, Jigga, what you do? You did you did something, bitch. And then Beyonce, some. And then what furthers that theory is that Beyonce didn't stop her. 
<laughs> Beyonce said chill and let that shit happen. If it was something, if there was some kind of miscommunication or there was something not going on between Jay-Z and Beyonce, I feel like uh, you would have seen Beyonce at least look like if she was yelling or being some sort of, you know, grabbed her husband or was saying something with her. Something, some type of indication to show like she was, you know, trying to prevent or stop or do something to the situation as opposed to just sitting back and letting it happen. Because some people are like, well, shit, I'm glad that she's doing something because I can't do nothing, you know, knowing my image. <laughs> or she could have been afraid. I don't, we don't know. That's the thing. It's like, this whole thing is just speculation. All we know is that there was a fight. And the reason as to why, we don't know. But it surely raises an eyebrow because it's like, uh, what could it be, y'all? That's, I really would hate, honest and for truly, to hate to hear that Beyonce was getting any type of abuse in this relationship, which would surprise the fuck out of me because they play that shit. They, that can't be it. It wouldn't make sense. Granted, they could fake a relationship, you know, in the public eye and, you know, they was doing all these performances together. They have a freaking tour together. That can't be it. So I'm like, what? She must have, maybe Beyonce shaded Solange or what she was wearing maybe or something. I don't know. But it's definitely uh, a hot topic as of right now on social media. And it will probably be all over Wendy. And it's already on TMZ. And all the blogs have already started reporting about it. So we're just trying to figure out what could possibly have went down at the after party Met Gala that caused uh, <laughs> a Knowles versus Carter throwdown. And as to why... Beyonce didn't try to get involved. She was smiling after the after it happened, and they were photographed in the uh, the, uh, the limo. Uh, she's only then did she kind of break her smile. She had like a blank face then, so I don't know if she was trying to hold off until she was away from the cameras. Beyonce probably went off on Solange in that damn limo, but we'll never know unless the limo driver got a tape recorder. Somebody, I need audio to that clip. I need to see what words were exchanged because otherwise we just have speculation. Speculation can go all sorts of which different directions. But let me know what y'all think happened. Did y'all see these pictures, baby? I don't know. I'm mm -mm. maybe this is a promotion for their on the run tour to build. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt that they really need to promote that anymore. People have already tried to get tickets, so I doubt that that's what it is. This doesn't make any sense for this to come out. None of this makes sense. Not with the Jay-Z and Beyonce, their couple. I, whatever. But let me let me know what you guys think happened. What do y'all think is going on as to why this thing happened? I'm interested to hear everybody else's thoughts. Because right now, I can't come up with anything that makes enough sense <laughs> as to how this could have went down. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We're trying to figure, to maybe later on we'll figure out what happened. And if there's an update big enough, I will come back <laughs> and report that too. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later on tonight for the Love and Hip Hop Episode 3 review. And don't forget tomorrow, we got Bad Girls Club Season 12, y'all. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. Jamar. Washington. Washington. Washington.